I'm uh, Paul Desjardins, and I'm a captain, in U.S. Naval Reserve, retired. Basically, after I finished with the uh, with the with the World War II things, I went back with Worthington Corporation, and uh, was at. <coughs> became a compressor specialist. Uh, my, my main work with Worthington was, was with the petroleum and chemical industries. And I worked with them uh, when I, starting in February of 46. Then I later uh, went with them to Charleston, West Virginia, where I joined uh, the Bureau of Ships. I was made commanding officer of Bureau of Ships Unit 5-4, which was uh, headquartered in Charleston, West Virginia, so that I kept up my Navy activity while working for Worthington. I, uh, in 1951, after the Korean War was underway, I received a, a letter from a Navy captain who said, I understand that you are about to be ordered to our activity <laughs> and that you will shortly be receiving orders. Uh, this was the first that I was aware of any further Navy activity. In any event, I made arrangements that it was in early April of 1951, and the American Society of, of Naval Engineers had their annual meeting in mid-April in Washington. So I arranged to meet the Admiral when I was attending that meeting. And it, uh, it was actually, it was Captain James. He later became Admiral James he later became chief of the Bureau of Ships. But at that time, he was a Navy captain. Uh, we met, uh, he and his executive officer, and uh, I, I met the two of them, and he talked about the U.S. Navy shipbuilding scheduling activity, which was being set up because the Navy was concerned that things might break out in Korea to the point that it blew up into World War III. So that the Navy was trying to set up a Navy, this Navy shipbuilding scheduling activity which would have jurisdiction over all Navy shipbuilding repair and uh, control for U.S. and the NATO countries. Uh, it was to start out with three 
regular Navy officers and three reserve officers. And we were to build to 25 officers and 500 civilians, basically engineering type personnel. The, I, I was uh, <laughs> not too keen on uh, going back to active duty, but the, they presented this in such a fashion that I, I felt as though, as though the, the, the nails were being hammered down on the coffin that I was in. The way the thing worked was uh, <laughs> Captain James was, was uh, telling me all about what, what they had to do and how they were going to approach it and all. And I was really reluctant and of course it showed in the way I was answering his questions. Well, make a long story short, it ended up where he said, well, he said, uh, uh, you know that uh, uh, we, we're not going to order you to this job if you don't want it, if you don't want it. He said, uh, but I might just tell you that uh, there are other people that want you and we can't do anything about those orders. <laughs> and he said, uh, uh, you know uh, Admiral Ramsey. Well, Admiral Ramsey happened to be the chairman of the board of Worthington Corporation. He says, uh, Admiral Ramsey was the one that suggested that this board be established, <laughs> the, the shipbuilding scheduling operation be established. So you might give thought to that. Well, I, <laughs> at that point, I said, okay. <laughs> Uh, but uh, can you give me uh, involuntary orders to active duty rather than voluntary orders so that uh, I will be able to retain my standing with the corporation? So, no problem there. Okay, so that's, that's what happened. I was ordered involuntarily. But uh, 